Yo, what up friends? Welcome back to the channel. Earlier today, after the art stuff, I gathered all the materials we needed for a wide body kit painting project at this auto body paint shop called Advanced Auto Color. I have to get the right exact color code for my customer. Yeah, that's it. It looks like it, man. Yes, there one? Yeah. And then no, I'll just take my picture now. <laughs> you want your picture taken? No, thank you. <laughs> well, appreciate uh, that, bro. man. Thank you. I'll thank be you. back. Okay, thank you. Have a good day, guys. Appreciate it. Easy enough. I mean, everyone there is so nice. <laughs> One of them was like, you a TikToker? Nah, bro. I just gave them all business cards, and now they're all watching my YouTube inside. Let's go. So after destroying the Ferrari in my FRS, I quickly grabbed the Lions kit from the other shop, the new Kmar gallery, and just stuffed it all in my mini spaceship. Slick. Of course, had to do the due diligence, dropped off some packages. Hey, yeah. okay, I'll have that. Appreciate Thanks. it, man. Thanks, have a good day. That's it. And then it was back to the old shop. So when it comes down to painting a car, or in this case, body kit pieces, or any part for that matter, there's three basic steps you gotta follow. There's the undercoat, which is our primer, a step we've already gone through, and then the second step is our base coat, which is the color of paint. And in this case, it's lightning yellow, which is actually the factory name that Mazda gave the RX-8 color. Then we gotta finesse it and make it showroom glossy. So the third step, which is our top coat, is when we use the clear coat to really finish things off. I forgot there was a fourth step. The final design. Cut and polish. This is only really if you suck at painting and the orange peel is super noticeable. Like me. I know this paint booth you see behind me is super makeshift, but honestly, for a DIY, it's not bad. And if we're really careful, we'll get the job done. Oh my god. In a fit of rage in the age of passive petty. You a party pooping patty. I pop off the party in a pinch. I'm pop a lock with crack a lack and Cadillac and pimpin'. Mm -hmm. Well, not really. Guess I'm more suburban in the fit of the world at large. And cause as large as it really is, I'm always feeling lost. Before I get started, just change into something you care a little less about getting paint on. Okay, the supplies you're gonna need for this little DIY painting project. There's all the liquids. So like I said, we've already done the first step, which is the primer, and I've set up all of the pieces inside the booth. Still gotta clean it up though, wipe it down with isopropyl. Um, but there's other ways for you to prep the surface, especially if you're past the primer part. And then the next step is the base coat, which we're gonna be using this lightning yellow for. This may not look like much, but it should be enough to get it yellow yellow. So you got the paint, you got the reducer, we have the urethane clear coat, and then the activator for the clear coat. And of course, between coats, you wanna wash your gum properly so it doesn't get all the gunk left in there. And that's what this cleaner is for. But then you're gonna need an actual weapon and protection. So I got a mask, paint gun, and everything to mix it in. And that's pretty much it. So I'm just gonna get the compressor and the gun set up, and then we can clean the pieces and finally get to painting. I'm so excited to see what this looks like. Finally, <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited to use this thing. This looks so mint. Oh. Slick. Gang guys, I'm a noob at this. Uh, this is all a learning experience for me. I just uh, kind of did a little bit of research. Google research. But hey, that kind of research has gone so many people so far in life before, so you know, in retrospect, it's the way to go. Just teach yourself off YouTube and Google. Respirators for the mask. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, let's do this. So when mixing your paint and reducer, make sure you read what the ratio is on the packaging. In this case, it's 4 to 1, and it usually is. Mix, 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 mix. Double check your air pressure. We're going to be spraying between 25 to 30 PSI. Log. Fine. Delicious. Make sure that the filter for your mask is facing the right side too.
This is how you can tell our ventilation system is working. Light bits of yellow right here. I should put something there though. Good enough, guys. Let me take you inside. Cool. Mm -mm. So we hit all of these pieces with three coats, only because I ran out of paint, but I mean, it was just enough. I tried to get all of the nooks and crannies and hit all of the angles underneath the flares. I mean, I did my best. And honestly, for the first time, this isn't half good. I mean, it's half good. It's not half bad. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Like, I'm actually really excited to put on the clear coat, which is the third step, the top coat, but that'll have to wait until the paint is completely dry. And I mean, usually we wait the full 24 hours, so we'll just see you guys tomorrow. All right, we waited for a full day for the paint to dry, and as you can see, it's dried up fairly nicely. Still an amateur. If you look really close, you will see minimal runs, but for what it's worth, we're saving ourselves a couple hundred. So next step is the top coat, which is the clear coat, everyone's favorite step. Let's get it. So guys, always make sure to do your test sprays. After everything's said and done, and you want to put away your gear, make sure you clean your tools thoroughly. <laughs> right, I think that's it for this video, guys. If you want to see the end product of this project, then you're going to have to stay tuned for the next vlog. But if you enjoyed this video and found it useful in any way, consider sharing it with your friends. Or perhaps watch one of these other videos where I'm doing more unique things to my cars. Always and forever, guys. Appreciate you for watching my videos. I'll see you when I see ya. Peace.